Yo! What day is it? And where are we? It is Saturday, 22nd of June 2024. It's just going half eight. Yes, I'm back at the salon. Uh, and I've just walked in the door. Just having a wee look at a couple of things because I'm not doing painting today. Uh, chairs are getting a wee bit close to the wall so I'm going to have to get a wee bit of wood to put on the floor to keep the chairs away. And then the chairs marked to the wall yet? Not yet. Everything seems to be a-okay. Sit on them bra. Right. No, today we're back at the salon. Not going to be here that long. I'll be back tomorrow to finish it off but at least I can get a head start. I am doing lighting. These shelves here should work them lit. And the method I've chosen is the angle profile for the LED strip. So what it's going to allow me to do, I've got these cut and I'll just sit in there like that. Once I've cut the length, I'll just sit in there and I've got the... I haven't just got any LED tape, I've got the cob tape. It's the first time I've used the cob, she so just wants it lit up white or warm white. But she's got a so you've got these ones, cob LED strips, and they come with remote control and uh, different functions. There we go. The different functions you can see, it's just all white light, so she doesn't like colours because the products speak for themselves, apparently. So you can change the brightness, and I'll be interested to see what the light. Maybe they can go cool white as well, I don't know. So you get the transformer, and you get a cable, and Let's see, I've got the LED strips with the clear diffuser. So I'll keep everything in, intact. And even give you the, the 3M tape to stick them up with, so that's good. And you get all the different fittings on that, end caps and brackets. We won't need that because we'll just stick them. Uh, you would see the wee brackets, but we'll see. We'll maybe give the tape a try and if you can see the tape from the side, because it's red. You know, there's going to be a little gap, but We'll see what it's like. Maybe even fill it in with some black silicon or something just to hide it. Right, so I'm not long in, so I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna get these measured, cut. I'm gonna do one, see how it fits. I'm gonna use that as a template. I'm gonna do it with a grinder. Don't wanna do it with a hacksaw. They're just aluminium profile, they shouldn't take long. And I've got one, two, oh, what kind of camera do it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going on the top shelf side, shining doing so. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. So we've got seven to do. Don't think she wants the top one done, but I've got ten of these, so I might just do eight. Get one up there. Then it can just stay blank, unlit, or we can light it and she can put like a wee ornament or something up there, or just a display that the staff don't have to really reach to. Because something that's been could be permanently up there. Even like a sign. She even put a sign up there. There's an idea. Right, okay, cu owner, customer. You get that tip for free. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get these measured cut and hopefully get them up. Wiring wise, they'll just go, they'll just plug, one strip will do all these. I'm sure it's 15 meters I got, uh, or 10 meters, I can't remember. So I'll just plug in here, the box will just sit somewhere off. I can maybe even get it inside there and just put it in here somewhere. I think all oh, the strips I'll have to bring out, I'm going to have to let go wee clips and that to go with them. So they'll probably have to go out there and down maybe a bit of trunking or something, then into the socket. So I'll figure out that later on, but I just want to get the wee things fitted and take it from there. So I'll bring you back when we're up and running, guys. Cheers. There we go. First one cut, first of eight. And that'll just sit in there, like that. 
See? Just like that. That means the light will be coming out. The angle here and it'll shine right down on top of the bottles. It's gonna look smart. Hope I like it. Don't know if they'd want it. I don't know if they'd want the lights at the bottom shining up, but I wouldn't think so. I'm going to try and have the cabling in a way that I can alter it if need be. Without making too much, uh, too much mess. Probably going to have to get that bit and stick it to the outside here and run it right up so it catches all the cables. I might just do that. And I think I've got a bit of that in the house, I think. Right, bring it back to the wee guys. See how we get on. Yo! Right, I've only got two minutes before the staff starts coming in. I've got five in already, one, two, three, four, five. I've got one more to do, get up there. I'm going to bring another one tomorrow for that one. But that's the wee profiles in, as you see there. They're just triangle in shape and they just stick to the shelf. Then the wee clear diffuser clips onto that once you put the LED tape in. So I'm thinking, it's a long way for a shortcut, but for the tidier shoe, get a bit of chunking, stick it to here, then drill through it into it. I can do all my connections in there. This is how they line the cable and each one joined onto it. Alright, so that's probably the best way to do it, I think anyway. That's the way I'm going to do it. And I'll just bring the cable down, it'll just have to come across to the socket. I think it's going to be the best way. Okay, this is probably the place we're going to be opening in the next, what, 20 minutes? It's about 20 to 10. So a member of staff here will be within 5 minutes to get set up, so I better finish it off. So, if there's anything to show you when I come back, I'll show you, but I don't think they will. So that'll be it for today. Then I'm going down to M Gym tomorrow to get stuff for my fence, because I'm building my fence today. Because the weather's to be lovely and try and catch it while I can. And it is Saturday. So catch you later, guys. If I'm not here, I'm elsewhere. See you in a bit. A few moments later. Okay, before I get done with a copyright strike, there's the lights are fitted. We have a little control. The next day. Yo! Monday, 24th of June 2024. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Hope everyone's doing fine. It's just going half seven. Just in the salon. Just looking at the work that I did yesterday. Installing these wee lights into the shelving unit. See how I did it, I just managed to get the wire come at the end and just along a wee bit then into electric cupboard. All the wee fittings that I got for it were perfect. Just to be the clamp on to the, the strip, then the wires go on the end and they clip down and bite into the cable, so they're really good. Quick. And the wee profiles are nice as well. Not sure if she'll because you can see the light. So I am having to take the, the cover off and then you won't see the light, if you know what I mean. This is obviously a diffuser. So she can, well, can make her mind up if she likes that or can take them off. Maybe from that shelf up. Won't make a difference to the light, it'll be exactly the same. But the fact that they're on a, a remote as well, pretty good. So you've got the percentages of dimness, so let's go, I think we're on 100%. Go down to 80, 60. 40, 20, and 10. Because you can do it manually, you can do it like that. Or you can do modes, you can flash. I don't think you would have that. Special offer. No, I think it would just be, you just press the buttons to go back to it again, and there's 100%. And of course, turn them off. So not mad. So today's job is see if we can get this off. So it's a new one of these cut. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this off and make a new one and have it coming out a wee bit more. That I can get a light and everything under it. So that is the plan. So if I can get it unscrewed, depending on what it's held on about. I have to try and see if we can save all this. I might have to nip away and get something like that and then iron it on. 
Mm -hmm. Anyway, right. I'll see how we get on, and I'll cut you loose, guys, and come back if I'm any further forward. Cheers, guys. Right. Uh, we did it for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take all this off here. And it looks like it's going to come off pretty easy. I just need to get in there with my gun. And just put screws on the far away side. Here is actually free. It's ready to start lifting off. So I think that's all right until we get round to here. It'll be fastened under there. And I think he's got screws in there, I think, maybe. I could just be stuck down, I'm not sure. Uh, this is double walled. All oh, right. Don't know how that's fastened in there. Probably the screws further in. Hmm. Right. Further investigation required. Right, I'll bring you back in a wee bit. A wee bit, guys. Cheers. Well, that was easy. It's just gone ten past eight, I think. And managed to get it ready for lifting off. So I'm going to use this as a template because it matches perfect there. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but when it gets to this point right here, we'll leave that the same because it butts up against here, but I'm going to bring the rest out. Uh, probably about the way it's sitting there now. It's sitting right there. Let's have a look here. That'll be in there. So that'll be, that should be 13 mil all the way around there. It is, 13 mil. I'm trying to do this and film at the same time and speak to you guys. So we're 13 mil. So I'm going to need that to at least come out another... Hold on, I'll be back Right, we have a board. We've had the counter through here, set up, mapped out. And this is where it could go seriously wrong, but the, the old worked up still through there. Yeah. Sorry, I just had a sneezing fit there. Okay, so I'm cutting to that line. And when I get around there, I'm popping up and... Yeah, I'm on the outside line because I need that to be longer, so I've got to remember that. Mm -hmm. Kind of my scatter brain, I'll end up cutting along this line. I don't want that because that's my measurement off the side to give me the overhang. Okay, let's see how we get on here. Bring it back when it's cut. <laughs> Wish me luck. Yo! Oh well, fingers crossed, peace man, fingers crossed, got it all cut out, it looks not bad, now I'm going to take it through and see if it fits, see what it looks like, see if she's happy, probably not, probably have to come back and redo it again, but there's just no room at all here to work, but I've managed it, I don't know how I've managed it, with my ankles intact, <laughs> right, catch you in a bit guys. <laughs> okay, before I get done with copper, right? Fitted. A few moments later. Morning. Well, I'm saying morning. It's just about to twitch the afternoon. It's 11:58. Uh, it's here. I was at the salon there, and I've been away. I've been down to the south, and I've been back up to Cowdenbeath again to a customer's house. I fitted cameras a couple of years ago, and one stopped working, so. Went back just to check it out and hopefully I've solved it but I can't connect to the camera without his Wi-Fi and he's working away for Aberdeen so I'll hate to try and get it done my way this afternoon when he's got his niece coming down to let his dog out and he'll be back at the weekend so I might come along this afternoon and see if I can connect to the camera and if it's all alright. So now I'm off to my dad's house down in Aberdeen because today is the delivery of his new front door. I don't want to be there for that so I want to check it out make sure the right measurements have been manufactured to what it's meant to be. In fact, I'm on the road from Kilbeast to Crossgate, so I'm going to nip down to Dalgate Bay because there's a plastics firm down there to do the anthracite grey trims from down the side. So the brown trim that's there than that is going to be ripped off, you will put on, and oh, it's going to be a big job, like. Eh? Looking forward to it. I think I've got a few tubes of sock in. Maybe a few chips of expanded foam if it's too short. So I'll put pallets, uh, pallet wouldn't ever hang up the side yet, if need be. <laughs> Get it by that. Paint it grey, same as the pins we done last, last week. The anthracite grey is becoming very popular, isn't it? 
and that was the charcoal grey that we used at uh, Carden Den last week. It's a very nice colour, everyone seems to be going down that same route, so that's, that's good. The thing I'll do is, since I'm going down to Dalgetty Bay, I've got to pop into Greg's, got a wee, a wee lie and a bottle of juice. I didn't want nothing to eat, I'm fine. Yeah, I'll pop to my dad's and hopefully the door will be arriving soon. It's meant to be from 7 in the morning to 7 at night, so you've got a 12 hour window. And that's noon now, so good afternoon. So here we are, today is Tuesday the 25th of June 2024. And going back to the salon, you've just seen the wee lights here, they look broad eh? under the counter. Pretty smart. Hopefully they'll stick they'll stay stuck on, it's the right polar surface. That that, uh, that counter stuff. But a shiny for mica. And uh, I just hope it sticks to it. I did uh, go over with alcohol and that, well big wipes. Take everything off it, then stuck it to it. So I've done everything I can, even hit it with the hairdryer just to help with the glue. So we edge and strip should arrive today or tomorrow and I'll get back down and stick that on. So they'll just have to make do until it arrives. So catch all you guys, thanks again for watching. Sorry there's not been much to film at the salon. The customer's always been there every morning I've arrived, so there's not really much I can do. And I don't like following when the customer's there. You see there's like to be on film and I didn't want it to be on film because I'm not promoting the company. Unless you want to pay my sponsorship, then I might do it. But until then, nah. -uh. So, I shall catch you later on guys, take care, have a nice day to yourselves. I'm just coming down the, the road to the Helene Crematorium and it's a, oh, it's a rickety road. Mere holes, mere holes in this stretch of road, it's on a golf course, honestly. In the craters. Ouch. There we go, right, catch you later guys, take care, bye bye. Welcome, as you join me on a voyage of discovery. Above our ceiling. False ceiling in the salon. <laughs> Come up here because I'm going to run a cable for a socket and I'm just wanting to see my cable run, which is probably going to come from over there. That's all cables for lights. You can see there, it's a light fitting right there. So I'm going to run a 2.5 all the way up the far end to here. I hope I've got enough. <coughs> it's not that far, it just looks far up there. And I'm going to get it done this pillar. So all I'm going to do is multi tool the way home to see if I can fish down all the way down the low level and put the socket down there. If I can't, then I'll probably see what I'm up against because I don't know if that's going to be an I beam behind there or a concrete post. No idea. It's always a part of the structure. So there's one there as well. So I'll pop a wee hole in there and we'll come back. Right, closer inspection, I've discovered there's no possible way to get cables in that pillar. I've, that's been double fireboarded and everything up there, I'm not going to breach that. I just need the first layer I've just to have a look and I'll get it all put back together. But I think the easiest course of action is just run a bit of trunking right down there, probably right down the centre. Just break that up, it'll look like a bit of panel on, to the socket and I'll just paint it grey. Make it match and I'll just put a patterns on there. And a double socket, that'll do it. Nothing fancy, just to give them power here for their hoover. Whether they want it that side, uh, a bit of this side. Even if I could have drilled through the pillar, but I, I didn't really care what's in there. Caught them in a can of worms. And I think a double socket there on a part of this, with the trunk running up, is good enough. All I need to do is just pop a hole in the ceiling just to get the cables up. It's obviously good. One. And the two wee strips up there. I'll just have to chop them with the multi tool. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute, guys. Right, we've got the cable in. Here it's here. I'm either going to take it into that board or I'm going to stick it, just put it into the socket here and just go right across to that one. Uh, it looks like they're all on the radio. There's only about two, two sockets in this place. Uh, sorry, not two. There's one single, where are we? One single there. One single there. One double. I think there's any down there. Two doubles, two singles. I think that's it. That's all we've got in this whole entire building. Because there's no need for sockets around about and we've got a heater and a staff room. So that's it, it's a heater, not a socket. 
So I'll wait and see once I get the ladders, but I want to get tidied up the new that's quarter to nine. I've got a funny feeling no one's coming here, so I want to try and get everything tidied up before they come in, so it's neat and tidy. The roof's all back on again. I didn't have this one off, I didn't need it. Eh, uh, sorry, what one am I pointing at? That one I had, this one I didn't. So the B marks there, they were still there yesterday, so I'm not guilty for that one, not guilty for the hole. Nothing to do with me. And what I've done is, just cut that beam at the top there, run that down and trunk in. Just get to pull this lid down a wee bit. Just to cover it, but I'm going to see if I can get a wee joint strip. I might have one in the car. Yeah, I can just sit like that. Clipped in. And I'll go. That was a lot harder when you've got a camera pointing. Yeah. Sorry, that's sell it. There we are. I think I've got a wee couple that will just go over that. I'll get it all painted anyway. That's it. Not cheat the tile, just to get up through the roof. I've got the wee bits of edging, just to glue back on. Take that trunk to the car now. Wee tidy, I'll get Henry the Hoover out. He can suck all that load up. And uh, then I want to re-stick all this. Because I put this on yesterday, but that contact of his was not the greatest, and people leaning on this, they want to like pull it off. So I don't think the contact of his was any good in that. So I might just put silicon on it. Mm, and I've got gorilla glue, gorilla glue, yeah. gorilla glue. So I could even try that. And if that fails, then silicon is the answer. Right. I'm not going to tie the power in just yet. I'll wait until the owner comes in, she can shut down the computer because I didn't want to turn any power off. It's probably not a good idea. Right, so I'll take stuff to the car, get a bit fresh here because I'm actually boiling, I'm sweating. And I've only been in here about 45 minutes, something like that. 45 minutes to an hour. It's absolutely boiling in here. So, right, I'm not going to muck about. I'll be back in a wee minute, guys. Cheers. Friday the 28th of June 2024, it's just gone about half eight. I've been busy, I've been next door, measured everything for, these are chair stops to stop the backs of the chairs banging against the wall and marking the wall. So I'll just pick these down, glue them down, which I thought was going to be an absolutely nightmare because I'd done one yesterday and it was too wide. So I had to stick it off, I managed to get it. Nah, so I hope I didn't hit these buggers. So I've uh, not a lot more to do and I'll hit take a nip into the, the hardware shop just down the road there and see if we've got a bat box for the double socket, get that fitted. Then uh, I can connect up next week. At least it's, uh, it's there, I'm just trying to think of something now. So I've just double coated all these, I'm just going to let them dry. I can take a wee nip down to the hardware shop if he's open. See if he's got a double bat box, get that fitted and hopefully by that time they will be dry and I can get them picked down. So I'll bring you back in a wee while guys. Cheers, good morning, here we go. Morning. I'm not in my usual uh, branded t-shirt today, it's in the wash. So I'm just gonna fling on just something to wear. Anyway, how we doing? Good morning, it is Saturday, eight o'clock. It is the 29th of June, 2024. Sorry I've not had much content to put on because I've not really been doing much. Uh, actually quoting and uh, working things out and getting things ready because there's a lot coming off next week. So a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't really get to kind. But this morning I'm back at the salon, obviously yesterday and the day before. I've been here nearly every morning uh, trying to get caught up and I'm just about there. I got the socket, the double socket fitted yesterday. Couldn't really do much because a member of staff came in. So I can film then, the place opened and that was it. And yeah, it was a bit of a late start, but I managed to get all the strips of wood cut, painted and put down on the floor in the booth. So that's all done. So I'm going to check on that now. To make sure they're all stuck down, everything's fine. Hopefully it is. Uh, what else am I going to do? I'm going to get a caulking gun and seal in the back of them and see if any crumbs in that going to do it easy to... Well, I don't know, the hoover everything anyway. I'll check it, see it when I'm in there. Uh, and she wants wee cages like the buttons for the sunbeds in the booths. 
certain ones that the public can press, she doesn't want anyone to be able to press them. So we had to put like 10 build something over it. Technical, very technical kind of stuff. So we'll see how we get on. Never bought my gun. It's still in the house because I'm doing my fencing now. I do have my other gun here. And uh, that means I just need pilot gels, access to next door to get some wood. I'm saying that I've got wood in the salon. I'm trying to think of reasons not to go next door. I've got enough saw there. So without having to get the keys and going open the shutters, I've got to do that fair enough. I always fear I'm going to break an ankle in there and it's not much room to move. Anyway, good morning. Gonna crack on, I'll see what I can film today, if any, if I don't, I'll try and get something before the shop opens to open in two hours. So once again, yesterday and the day before, as soon as that, as soon as the door's unlocked, that's it. Wow. I can go next door, the company car, go back, there's about half a dozen people there. So that's it, I don't know like hanging about, you feel kind of awkward, eh? you feel like you're, you didn't belong there. So, I tend not to put myself in that position, it's, it's a weird feeling. Plus I've got other things I want to do as well, I've get, got to get the MGM timber of the day, done a couple of rails for my garden, and I need to dish out, ask me look out the invoice from the panelling, because I've lost it. I know it's somewhere, but I can't be bothered looking for it. So I'll just get them to dig it out if they can point me it off, and I'll find it the date when that was. I think it was February. We'll check it out anyway. Hey guys, take care, have a good morning, have a good day, and I'll catch you later on. Cheers. Yo. Well, we're in the salon. Once again, I'll be as well giving you a wee tour while I'm here, before I get started. Uh, right, I've just been next door and opened the shutters and done other bits, and there's a lot more to tell than just that. Anyway, right, let me show you what I've been up to. I've only been in about 10 minutes and already I've decorated the place. Got this finally all stuck on. And it's not showing any signs of it coming off, so that's bra. I just had the silicon or the the contact adhesive that I put on was all right, but this place gets really hot, and uh, the adhesive becomes soft when it gets hot. So I do, people have been leaning on it and pulling it back. So I've been pulling their arms away, but that seems to be hidden fine. But oh, nice one. Okay, right. So the task we're on this morning, I've just been to the car looking for them and I had them on me all the time as these wee bloody mirror, mirror screws. Some were missing and they were catching their arms, so I've got new ones to go in there. So I'm just going to get this a clean up, get all this tape off. Try and make it look a wee bit better. Because all this as well. Dress all them up. Uh, but other things I've been up to. Let's see, I finally got this finished because if I press this button right here, We've got the LED cob light under there. Going all the way around there. Did that the other day. It's looking really nice. Looking smart. But oh, she was wanting to do something with this and I... Mm, she's wanting it panelled. Because you've got this in the road, so every panel would have to get a wee bit taken off it. Or you're going to have a gap. How do you secure it? You didn't want to drill into this. If you glue it, if you ever want to use this again, there's going to be spots of glue everywhere. You know, just get a vinyl wrap, just for the centre bit, paint these black, get a vinyl wrap. Then we get some that sticks out and you put a light behind it. Ah, there's, a, there's an idea. And these ones, if I press this remote, we've got the shelves lighting up. So that's how the salon's looking at the moment. The other day, yesterday, I fitted the double socket, that was another job I did, that was all done. So wired there, it's just the cable in there and I'll get our dad to do it because he's a qualified electrician I'll let him do all the tie-ins. Uh, so I've got all the other wee jobs done. These mirror screws only got bloody six of them. So I can only do so much. The thing I've done yesterday was put all the strips at the back of the booths. Down the bottom there. Got that one done. I'm not putting any lights on. It's no point. People I think we're open. There's one down there. And booth four... Don't need to worry about the second ones because there's no panelling in there. Uh, when we've done room, I keep getting my numbers mixed up, nine. Done that one, just done it full length right to the back wall. That's that done. They're all stuck down as well, so they can't move. No screws. It can be peeled off if need be. 
no damage to the floor and one in room 11 that's that maybe we touch this up touch up with paint certain places these bottle holders are rubbish but there's only about four or five that's burst do you replace the four or five or do you I think she wants to get something new but she's wanting shells can you know she's leaving it to me to try and figure that one out Oh, and I've got a strip to go down here, it's painted ready to just go down there, so I'll do that before I finish. Right, we're going to crack up with this, get this wee job done, and see how we get on, so I'll be right back. Yo! Right, that's that done. Replaced all these, they were all knackered. Replaced all them, the flush ones, and I put all the, the dome ones on the front. Even sorted the door, I haven't even tried it yet. Ah, the door works, there we go. It's just meant to sit like that, so it's, there's no lock in it, I don't think. Nah. I don't think they ever use it anyway, it's just put there. Right, so all I did was take them off, give it a wee sand done with a fine grit of sandpaper. It's almost like wet and dry this stuff. Just take all the tape and everything off it, and that's it. And as a good uh, handyman, always brush all the loose bits to the side so the staff can get them. <laughs> no, I'll be getting them in the wee while. I'm trying to get as much done before the, the shop opens. Right, I'm going to nip next door and get a bit of wood uh, and stick it down there. And if I've got time, I'll get the paintbrush and give it a, a wee paint, but I don't think I'm going to have time because the shop opens in less than an hour. And I've already had two members of the public coming in asking if the place is open. They must think I'm running the place. I've been here that many times, I more or less am. So, anyway, right, we'll crack on and bring you back in a bit, guys. Cheers. And I might not get much more time to film anything, but we'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys. Bye. Yo, right. <laughs> 20 to 10. I've just got, just some more or less got finished before the staff rides in. Song there somewhere. Uh, so, bit of woods on the floor. I'll stop the chairs going back and I painted the skirt, painted that skirt, that skirt, and that skirt. And repaired all these, like I said earlier. Repaired the door as well as much as I can. This bit of metal needs a bit of tension, but I'll not be today because the shop's going to open in like 20 minutes. The staff will be here in probably two minutes. So, I'm going to get things off the desk. And my time is nearly up, so I'll go and wash the brush. And then I'll see about making like wee cages for these buttons. Just wanting things to like prevent them from pushing buttons. So if I might try and screw some to there and then some across the way. So I do something like that, eh? Something simple. Simples. But some that they can get access to the buttons if need be. Hmm, interesting. So I think I've got this one. And I think it's number two. I think the rest are alright because they've not tried to cover them up. This one they've tried to cover up. So that one. That one's okay. I always had any worry about that one. That one's okay. I think these ones are alright. They're fine. That's fine. I'm looking to see if they've tried to tape them up. That's okay. And that's okay. There's not much required really. So maybe two cages. And this one, where's that one? There. Look at that trunk and scummed in. I saw that as well. Alright, we're stuck back up there. That's another job. So it's come up. Oh, it's come off the end. See it? It's been sticky back and it's come off. That'll be all about ba ba ba. Probably be a job for tomorrow. Right, because I'm, I'm expecting it to get busy. So it's just the two beds I've got to pick cages for, for the controls. Right. Things are starting to make weird noises in here. The beds are starting to come to life. So I suppose I better get some lights on. Catch you later, guys. Bye. The next day. Good afternoon. Or good evening. Saturday. It's five to nine at night. I've just had a message off my best mate. I'm down at his house. I fitted for a tap from a kitchen tap last year in December and apparently now it's spring a leak. We got the tap cheap. What can I say? So I'm waiting to find out what's happened. I've got a funny feeling I know what's happened. But if I'm able to, I'll film it and I'll let you see. See what comes in here. Right, see you in a bit. Tomorrow. Sunday. 7.30, on the clock. Mm -mm 
Mm, yes, it's the last day of June, the 30th of June 2024. On the way back to the salon again, once again, didn't get a chance to film much yesterday. So I don't know if this that's the worth putting out as a video, but it's a day in the life, so you'll see what I'm doing. I can only file what I can film and so I've got some content. I think it's worthy worthy of putting up. I'll put it up. Um I went and didn't see that tap last night, didn't my mates? And the tap had been broken. So the tap was all slack. It wasn't like that when I left it. No, I got fitted it some months ago. And it's December. 17th of December, something like that. And it was secure. She had got the tap online. I don't know where she got it from, Evie or something. And someone said either they've got cats and whether the cats climbed up and stood on the tap or something and pushed it down it was enough to snap the ring at the back. I mean it's only a flimsy wee plate and uh, the bit of the tap that screws onto it, you know some taps are right deep, it's just like a wee thin plate. So it wouldn't take much to break it and it didn't. So ripped it out, blanked the, the pipes off and at least it gave them water uh, during the night when they did the toilet and whatever. So I'll pick up another tap later on, once I've finished at the salon. We'll fit that for them. That's a wee call it job, perfect for a wee Sunday. Just a couple of pennies into the pocket. I ain't doing it for free. Even though it's my mate, maybe mate's rates, but I'm still not doing it for free. Anyway, guys, so way back to the salon. I'll see you there, and we're going to be doing wee protectors over the buttons. So nothing, nothing major to be done. So hopefully we can get it done pretty quick. I want to be away from there about back at 10, so that'll be bra. So we'll catch you there, guys. Have a good morning. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers on board. I think I got another four or five for the last week. Thank you very much. I think I'm up to 57 now, so very much appreciate. Thank you very much. And give me a wee like as well for the video. And I'll catch you later on and take care. Have a nice Sunday. Cheers. Yo. Right. In the salon, just literally walked in the door, been to the cupboard and got all my, my stuff. I'll show you what I'm doing. Morning, good morning. So these wee control panels, they're not meant to be pressed by the public. They're meant to be set up and left alone, do the bit, but they come up here and push the button. So she wants a wee deterrent. Uh, so I'll take that off. And the idea is just to try and use wood or something, just a, just a prevention. So I'm going to do something like that, cut it down, and simply just wee blocks like this, just get another one, just probably have to glue it to the side there, and just one that goes across the way. So, I don't know if I can do this by hand. I've done a lot of talking, so I didn't want to do a lot of talking on this video. I can help it just sitting in a car driving. So if I do something like that, but obviously it's too, I need to cut it in, but just something like that. I'll glue the sides on, then the front can be screwed on and they can remove that whenever they need it. I think that's probably the best way. So I'm going to go to the car, get the rest of my tools, I need to get a saw and uh, some no nails. I think that should do it and take it from there and see if it works it's just i've asked about wood to here i'm going to be relying on that side to hold it because this will want to drip in ah we'll get it we'll work it put something out something looks a wee bit smart as well so i was thinking on so when i cut these actually i wrote on them wall so i don't know what designs are actually better to be honest with you Right there was to shove it up there. That should be roughly about there. The top there, yeah. Okay. And we need one at the side. I think I was going to use that one. No, it wasn't going to be that one. Silly burger, silly mare. Oh, we got it. Maybe I've not cut it. Could be that one. It could be that one. Yeah. 
just have to finesse it a little bit. Uh, I was going to put one over the top. Something like that. You know, something like that. Then put something else over it. I think I might do that. This could be fastened in. Uh -huh. I'll probably end up painting as well. Paint it white, I think. Right, I'll bring you back when I come up with a, an idea. Cheers, guys. <laughs> okay, right. The shop will be opening in roughly 50 minutes. And I've done the wee button protectors, see? Just something like that. I was going to do something like Darth Vader's mask or something, eh? but it's just to stop people touching the buttons. Uh, and this can actually just be removed, so it's a tight fit. So I don't want the public just to be able to take that off because it's going to be a bugger to get back on and it'll get caught out. So I'll just left it like that. I can remove these top screws if they need. Just take that off. Access to the buttons, back on again. Or let's say the whole lot can come off. If they persist in doing that, I'll hit attach this to the back. I've been getting some of the grey touched up as well. This was more or less done. I've hoovered this out. Paint, paint tin lid. That needs to come out. I say the shop opens in a wee while, and the member of the staff will be here very shortly, I would think. Probably the next 10 15 minutes. We'll get Henry the Hoover out because he's going to be tidying all this lot up. But I'm letting this one dry, and this is for piece number two. So I'm just going round now. Just making sure everything's as it should be. And I think I'll go around and get a wee drink of juice at the car. And we're doing okay. What I've also done is we experiment. The colour on the wall, I know she was black, but I'm just trying it. See what it was like, just putting it down there. Kind of inconspicuous. It was the same as this, it's like flooring. So I put it down there just to see what it's like when it dries. Is it going to scrape off alright? Because I might get the black. And uh, maybe we can see if she wants this maybe painted. Maybe get like an enamel paint or something. Do it that way. And I was thinking maybe without getting too much away, the initials off the, the salon and put these behind it, can it can stand out, put LED tape behind it. Hmm. Or she gets a wrap. She was wanting to panel it, same as that, but obviously the background's not black. And as I discussed the other day, I'm going to hate, obviously get over this, because this is hiding the screws. Mm-hmm. Anyway, crack on. Not much more to do, and then I'll be away in about an hour's time, and I'll be doing, putting a new kitchen tapping for my mate and his girl. So, I'll catch you later on, guys. Hopefully, I'll show you this all finished. That's yeah, just all been double-coated with paint, so I'm just letting all that dry. And it's really quick drying paint, so there you go. All done. Nice. Right, see you in a bit. Nice one. Right. Sound of a clicking door means I am just about finished for today and this week. So that's how the door stops, uh, chair stops done. Button guard done for that one. It should be dry now. Yes. All the weeks I've touched up. It's all dry and perfect. Nice one. Probably touch up during the week if I'll come back. That's looking good. Once get everything hoovered up, all the tools into the car. That's the key for the office, we'll just stick it where it normally is. Uh, what else have we done? Just, oh, just touch up wee bits behind the... ...in the counter. All oh, the beds are starting to wake it up. Good morning beds. We've got a bit of light in this one now. You can see the finish. There we are. So at least the, the, the public can't get to the... Well, I can still get to them, but... A bit of an effort trying to push them. So I think that's it guys, we're going to nip off now. Just screw fix, get the kitchen tap, go down the roof over our stay to my mate's house, get the tap fed, hopefully it's an early finish, then back home for a nice coffee and a bite to eat. So I think that is it. Pretty damn good. Chuffed at that today, bro. That's that wee job at the road. And just bottle holders, I need to get more a bottle holder, they're all breaking. Yeah, oh, that was completely gone. So one, two, that one's alright. That one's okay. 
So it's two bottle holders. Two. That was okay. That was okay. Two so far. Yeah, that's okay. Three. That was knackered. Three. Three. I need three. That's not bad. Apparently, this, they must be slamming them down and they're breaking these rings. So, three I need to get. So, anyway, guys, we'll cut you loose because I remember the staff is ready to just come in the door and start our shift. So, cut you loose and I'll see you in the car, guys. Cheers. A few moments later. Yo. Room five in Rosyth. I've come down to finally get this painted because this is a new sunbed I go put in. So I've come down here just to get this touched up. <laughs> Forgot my decorating poles that I had to improvise. <laughs> I have to put the brush back on there to get the wee bits. And the wee bits there, but I'll wait on that drying now. So while I was doing that, the extractor fan for the premises is playing up. I'll put it on the screen here what I recorded. And that's what we've got, so it's making a hell of a buzzing noise, but nothing seems to be happening. So either the motor's buggered or it's spinning and it's not spinning the blade, but the blades are free spinning, so I don't know, something's happened anyway. Could be like a bolt that's come out and it's not fine kind of grip to the bolt. Ah, close inspection, it's a bit dark in there, but get a light on there. There we are. Apparently it was cleaned out last week, so. Aye, right. Now that's looking alright. It's making a hell of a buzzing noise. We're taking the cover off. I can stick that through there, touch the blades. Did do a wee minute ago. Yeah. There's a bit of resistance here, so I'm not sure if maybe the blades have come away from the bearing or something, or the bearing snapped or what, I don't know. I better take the whole fan off and pop a look at it. It's something alright anyway. It was trying to spin, but it jammed. It's hard to, it's hard to say. Hmm. Could even be something like that, but then some amount of rattling anyway. Well, that's all there is to the show, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, I didn't have any more footage to show because the job was done and there was customers coming in and I couldn't film so I just thought I'd end the video there but thanks very much for watching guys I'm just heading home now and uh, I think they're going to replace the fan that day so whenever I put the video out that fan should be all replaced so I checked it, reported it it's getting changed, job's a good one and I decorated the bedrooms and the bedrooms, the booths and oh, oh yeah, the bedrooms, sun bedrooms. And uh, got that all finished, and that was Rosyth because I had a wee call it to go and uh, finish the painting there. So I thought I'll use my time and get that done, and that's it, out the road, done. And while I was there, check the fan out, and that's it. Job's a good one. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll end the video here. Take care. I'll join you in the next one. There's going to be more projects coming up, and I'll get the camera and everything set up, so we'll get a few time lapses and that as well. So thanks very much for watching again. Thanks for the subscriptions, thanks for the likes, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care guys, enjoy the day. It's gonna be a nice one. Cheers, bye.